Welcome back. I'm Forbes adventurer columnist Jim Clash. As an intern at bureaucratic NASA, Eric Anderson knew that his own chances of going to space were almost nil. So a decade ago, he founded Space Adventures to encourage and profit from a private sector space race. So far, he has sent three tourist knots to the International Space Station for $20 million each. But perhaps most exciting is Anderson's suborbital program, where you and I will soon be able to go to space for $100,000. Welcome, Eric. Thank you very much for coming in today. It's always a pleasure, Jim. Okay. Um, you know, I heard once you were an intern at NASA in your younger younger days, and just wondering, um, tell me a little bit about NASA, the bureaucracy, and why you decided to found space adventures for private tourists. Well, Jim, NASA is a unique organization in history that's done incredible things, like land people on the moon. Uh, but in the last 20 or 30 years, it's become quite a bureaucracy, and in fact, uh, it was disenthusing to see a space program that was trying to do a lot of great things but not really bring it back to the regular people right. out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so few astronauts had flown and people would wait years and years and years and we founded Space Adventures to be able to take private citizens to space, to create our own space effort to be able to take the rest of us one day to go to space. And do you plan to go yourself someday? Going to space is one of my lifelong dreams and I'm sure with Space Adventures I'll fly someday very soon. Great, Eric. So, so now we've got uh, a program that you've put together where for $100,000, you and I will be able to take suborbital space flights. And with Bert Rutan winning the X Prize, you know, we've done it uh, from, from a private standpoint. How is the program going? When do you think, A, we're going to get to do this, and B, will it stay at $100,000 for private tourists to do it? So our suborbital program is going very well. Uh, the financiers and sponsors, the very well-known Ansari family, have partnered with Space Adventures in creating a new joint venture which will use uh, Russian technology uh, that is based on the Russian space shuttles that flew to orbit many years ago very right. successfully right. to create suborbital vehicles that will be used at global spaceports to provide this experience and uh, yes uh, our price is hundred thousand dollars and we're quite confident that uh, we can make a business out of it at that price and have no plans to change that price right now and when do you think we'll actually be able to start going up so, Jim, we're very careful about it, announcing dates. Um, some of the would-be competitors out there talk about dates, and they seem to change all the time. And we'd, you, you mean Richard Branson? We'd rather, we'd rather talk <laughs> about it when we do it. And so we'll yeah. be very careful to, to say when we're going to fly and then actually live up to it. Well, Richard Branson has announced that he's going to be able to do it by 2007 with Virgin Galactic Airways. Do you, a, do you, are you working with him on that? And B, do you think he can do it? <laughs> well, Richard Branson uh, seems to announce a lot of things out there, and they seem to change all the time. Okay. Uh, Jim, we're really a, a different effort. We're a space exploration, uh, private space-like company that has successfully flown people to space. You know, the only tourists who've ever gone to Three space. Three of them, right? That's right. Yeah. And we've got another one scheduled for launch this September, and you know, we really take this very seriously. And uh, as I mentioned, the suborbital for us is a very important program. We've got the best partners in the world with 45 years of space flight right, experience. Right. And uh, we're confident that with all the customers that have signed up with us as well, uh, that we'll be flying first and flying best. How many customers have signed up for the suborbital? Nearly 200. 200 Nearly people. 200. And to sign point. up, what do you have to do? Uh, you make a reservation. Uh, you've got to pay a deposit. The deposit's anywhere from $10,000 all the way up to the full price. And so we right now have several million dollars uh, in a trust account, which we're not spending, uh, unlike some of our competition. And uh, people are able to get that money back if they'd like to until we're able to fix a flight date for them. What's really interesting to me is you have the Steps to Space program. And I personally have been up in your MIG flight, and I've been on your weightlessness flight. And they're amazing experiences. Tell our viewers out there what these things are and, and how much they cost to do. So we've packaged our space adventure offerings around a, an idea that we ought to be able to offer something for everybody. And so at the lower end of maybe a few thousand dollars as opposed to a hundred thousand uh, dollars, we can provide things like zero gravity flights, mm -hmm. uh, which are great fun. We do those in Russia. We do them as well in Florida with our partner Zero G Corp. Right. Uh, we do uh, jet flights in MiGs, uh, and Sukhoi and other high performance aircraft. And those are ten or, ten or twenty thousand dollars take you all the way to the edge of space, as you well know. That's uh, eighty five thousand feet up. That's right. Mach two point six. You're going fastest two and a half two and a half times the speed of thunder. The fastest. Combat aircraft in the world. That's yeah. an amazing thing. Have you done that yourself? I have, actually. Yeah, and I, I know someone else who has, too. <laughs> but uh, So we offer those experiences, and we try to create a, basically a, a mix of different things that people can do on their way to spaceflight. That was Eric Anderson, CEO of Space Adventures. 
I'm Forbes Adventurer columnist Jim Clash. For more adventures, see my column in Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com slash adventurer.